Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look at the iOS 15 beta 2 update on the iPhone 8 plus. Now what I can tell you is, is that this update, good update, I'm glad to see it. Again, I would not recommend installing it, which I'll get into in a second. But this update was a good size update, definitely not a massive one, but pretty much what I expected to be completely honest. I don't even know what this was. Oh yeah, that was for the live text feature. 1.86 gigs on my iPhone 8 plus. So again, not a massive size update, but a good sized one for sure. It made it more stable, fixed some bugs here and there. And the main bug it fixed, at least the main one that I could see, was iCloud Private Relay. There was a f bug with that apparently, but that has now been fixed, which is really good to see. Now we also got a new Maps icon. So if you can see with the Maps icon right here, that has now been updated. So within iOS 15 beta 2, we have this new icon. It still functions about the same, but I'm really happy to see that. But I hope they can go ahead and refresh a lot of these other icons as well. Things like books, the notes, you know, calendar, things like that. These deserve a refresh and hopefully they started with maps, but hopefully they can go ahead and refresh a couple of these other app icons as well. Now, Memoji got a little bit of an update. I personally don't know anybody who uses Memoji, and the fact that they even talk about it this much is pretty crazy. So you can now actually go ahead and choose outfits for your specific Memoji. Now, me personally, like I mentioned, I don't use it, but, you know, it's cool to see it. I'm glad they have this capability now, and they did mention this in the iOS 15 keynote, so I guess they're sticking to their word, which I'm really happy to see. And finally, we do have SharePlay, which is now working with an iOS 15 beta 2. So what this looks like is essentially, you know, iOS 15 beta 2 brought that cool little SharePlay feature, which allows you to share videos over to something like a Mac or whatever the case is. But also within FaceTime, you have the capability of sharing your screen within FaceTime, which that in and of itself is a massive feature. And we now have this type of capability within iOS 15 beta 2. So this is another really massive thing. And that essentially covers it up. And to kind of answer the question, should you install iOS 15 beta 2 on your iPhone 8 plus? Well, the answer is still completely no. You should not be installing this beta on your iPhone 8 Plus at all. You shouldn't even be thinking about it. This is a good beta and I'm glad to see it, but there's still a lot of issues with this specific version of software and it makes absolutely no sense to install it. Sticking with something like, you know, iOS 14, you know, any official version is the best way to go. There's still a lot of bugs. If I use this phone every day, I would be sure to find a ton of issues with it and I probably wouldn't be able to use it. It's getting more stable and I'm really happy to see that but I would not recommend installing it until the official version comes out. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.